hi guys thank you for joining my channel it's Shauna J Ray so my one of my best videos out there is me doing a dip set on my nails and I wanted to go ahead and show you my new product that I've been using uh, I tried the kiss nails and I like the kiss nails but they are like for like when you're in a pinch like they don't last that long they don't last more than two weeks very thin acrylic it just you know it's good for starters this is from Sally's this set is from Sally's and you get all of this for $30 you get all of you get all of these for $30 and I out of the whole set for $30 I've gotten at least probably like five or six mani pedis out of it uh, not many well acrylic sets and actual pedicures I actually uh, use this like a gel top for my my toenails so this is really worth it for $30 I mean one trip to the nail salon is at least 20 something dollars if you're just getting a regular manicure so you can get a couple of acrylic sets of course you have to buy the nail separately um, Sally's has their nails separately for uh, six dollars I've been getting those sets however I will link in the description these this set it is by quick dip uh, I'm sorry it is by ASP called quick dip it's one of their quick dip sets when you get the set you will get a nail primer top a nail base and top coat gel a gel activator and you get the brush cleaner so that you can use it now that's another reason why I did not care for the kiss is because after about one to two sets you're not gonna get um, you're not gonna be able to use the setting uh, the setting gel activator anymore because everything starts to clump up on itself and it's like it's horrible you get maybe two sets out of that whole kit and then after that it just it's really bad and the like I said the acrylic is really really thin but this one lasts a little bit longer um, it lasts probably a month on my toes and I get probably a good solid two to three weeks out of it before I really need to do anything like touch it up or anything not too much chipping or anything like that and also it's all in technique I have been playing around with my technique on it so I'm gonna show you oh yes these are the acrylics you're gonna get with the dip set um, I actually went and bought another one I bought the wrong color that came with the kit but I'm intrigued to try this one because when I touched it it has like an iridescent color on it so we'll see how that looks but in the kit that I got I got a cream soda this one is like a beige color I got a what is called rose petal pink and I like this one it's a very like nude blush like very very soft blush and then you get a clear acrylic in the original dip kit but I went out and I got what's called dusty rose I'm intrigued to see this that's what I usually like on my nails like a nude brownish to a pinkish you know nudish color so I'm excited about that to try that now so I'm gonna just do a nice little ballet set on my nails and I'm gonna show you how to use this particular set it's a little different from the kiss set that I did and I hope you guys like this as much as you guys like the other video this is twice the price but you get probably 10 times more sets out of it and depending on how much you're using because some people don't like super long nails like I do and they're not doing their toes with it so you could probably get a, a couple dozen nails done out of these so let me just take you closer up so you can see what I'm working with All right, guys, I start off with using the Max Speed nail glue, an orange stick, a file, and my nail set. Also, some acetone nail remover. Then I go in, I start on my bare nails. I just go ahead and clean underneath my nail beds to make sure everything is nice and doesn't have any dirt residue left for the glue to stick on. After that, I go ahead and I clean, push back each cuticle softly, gently. Then I go back over and gently file each nail just to get a little roughness for the glue and the nail to stick to and the acrylic to stick to. 
do not file too hard. After you file, just clean up the nails to remove dust or any oils left over with an acetone remover. Then we will start with the number one nail primer in the Quick Dip Kit. Go ahead and just paint over each nail like you're painting your nails and then start to size out your nails and start gluing them on. I like to put a nice little, you know, dab of glue over the nail and stick it to the end of my nails. I like to also do everything from my less dominant hand first. Once everything is stuck on, now we're gonna begin shaping the nails. I start by using some small scissors and I cut each nail to the length that I actually want it to be. So I've cut mine around medium long. Since I'm doing a ballet set, I'm going to cut the sides of each into a triangular shape. Now it isn't gonna, it's gonna look raggedy at first, but that's okay because you're gonna go back in with the file and everything else and it's gonna be shaped properly. After I'm done with all the cutting, I go back in with the a little bit rougher side of the nail file and I go in and I just shape that part to a more, you know, cleaner. And I make sure each side is even by going back and forth and straightening out the top part. That takes a little bit of time, then I make sure I go through all the nails and look at each one and file them and make sure the one on each hand of the same type is completely the same. Now there is a little bit of a ridge left from the actual nail being glued on. So I like to file that down just a little bit so that we have something smoother to work with. I don't always file it all the way down, especially with this, this is more of a full nail that I've glued onto the tip instead of like the regular one with the arch. So now it's all smoothed out. So now I can start laying the acrylic down. So I start again with the number one nail primer so everything sticks a lot better. Now when we first start, we're not going to paint the entire nail with number two, that is the top coat. We're going to just paint it halfway closer to the tip. Then because my nail is so long, I go ahead and I drop the acrylic dip set acrylic powder on to where I've painted it and I continue throughout each nail and then I just shake it off I no longer dust it off with a brush because I realize that that actually makes the acrylic very rigid 
and doesn't come out as smooth. So I just keep going on and once I've done all the nails, then we are going to start from the back at the top. So it's only halfway through. So now we're gonna take that top coat for a second time and we're gonna paint just a little bit past there but not quite all the way to the cuticle. This will give it a nice buildup and give you a little bit of a curve in that nail and just tap that right back off all nails just the same make sure that you're getting the powder over all the part that you have painted with the top gel coat so that way that the acrylic is even all around I found the sweet spot to be three coats of acrylic. Any less and it chips and breaks more easily, any more and it actually causes your whole nail to pop off. Make sure you keep doing that all over on each nail to get nice uniform nails. Now we are all done with the acrylic powder. Now we're going to start with all the other ones. So you're going to do number two first, then you're going to do number three, and then you're going to dip it in the cleaner and then go back and forth to make sure the whole nail is covered with number three. So first we paint it with the top coat gel and make a nice even layer on the nail with the top coat number one, or number two, excuse me. Then we're gonna go in with the number three and this is like watery, so you're just gonna tap that on there. I realized later on that you should actually do all the nails on one hand, then go in with the number three. That way you have a nice clean coat. Sometimes the brush can leave strokes when the top coat gel is still soft. And you just wanna go over each nail like that. And like I said, you want to use the, the brush cleaner in between. You don't want to just keep sticking it back in the gel activator number three. This doesn't matter if you get this on the cuticle because this is just the gel activator. Just make sure that you are very cautious not to get the, the actual top coat gel on your cuticles or around your finger. And that is the before and after, nice and shiny. Now, I like to go in with this first layer and go ahead and shave down any imperfections on top of the nail or on the edges of the nail. You cannot do this before because when you don't have the top coat on, the uh, the acrylic is still dusty and will flake and won't, won't uh, shave down properly, won't file down properly. So I like to give it an edge file and then I go back over onto the top part of the nail to make sure there aren't any like little bumps or bubbles or anything like that. And 
once I am finished with that, I do one more coat of the top coat gel with the gel activator so I get a nice shiny top coat and all the nails are nice and well finished off. Now we are all done. Perfect curves to our nails, perfect even acrylic done. Okay guys, so I am finally done my nails. They're perfect, ah, I love them so much. Okay, so this has got to be the best set I have ever done. I have been doing my sets with this dip powder for probably at least a year and you know through trial and error and like a little bit of scoping out through the internet I have figured out like certain things that do work um, and you know things that I was doing wrong before so like I, I verbalized that throughout the um, you know me actually doing my nails and I'm really really happy with them they're very sturdy they look great I love this pink by the way like this bubble gum cotton candy pink is absolutely a vibe like I absolutely love it um, it's more pink than I usually get I usually get more like a nude color but I really like this I'm gonna find some diamonds I'm gonna really gym it out like I said everything is linked below for you to get these nails yourself or you know this this dip set you can use it on your toes I literally just file my toes in a certain um, certain way and I just literally do an overlay a few times I've actually had this where I have been able to um, grow my actual nails out and just keep overlaying it as I go and keeping my nails under it and they've 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 worked wonders like I just I'm amazed and um, also I'm going to try Probably in a month or two, I'm going to try to do these in a sculpted nail. So I have to get the sculpted nail or the tips, the little forms, the nail forms, and actually try a dip set nail form. I looked it up on YouTube and there was only one other video and I've been dying to get a um, sculpted nail. So that's going to be next on the agenda. And I'm also going to be trying another type of gel set. So I hope you guys love this. Ask me all the questions, comments in below. If you've ever used a dip kit, like comment down below how you felt about it. If you've ever wanted to try another one, this one is definitely, definitely worth it. Like I just, I can't tell you enough how much it's worth it. This is not sponsored. This is literally something I started using on my own and I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys, I've answered all your questions. If you have any more, make sure you comment down below, like I just said. But I really appreciate you listening or and watching this video. Make sure you share it with your friends, like down below, and y'all have an awesome day. Bye.